fuck you looking at, fat boy? You know what? I'm gonna waste my time on this piece of shit. is a fucking douchebag. <laughs> Your father is working a late shift, and he's trying to get some sleep. So try to keep it quiet, OK? I have got to get to work. Jimmy, is everything all right? Everything's fine, Mom. of what? They're jealous because you're funny, smart, and you've got great taste in France. You forget fat. You're not that fat. Oh, but you do have a little, it's something right here. No, no, yeah. <laughs> okay, look, man, we're going to come over. I'll whoop your ass at Call of Duty. You can't. My dad's sleeping and he's working the night shift. Well, then come over here. We got the place ourselves. <sighs> nah, I think, I think I'm just going to stay home today. Maybe. You should watch some old kung fu movies in case Miles decides to fuck with you again. Very funny ass face. Okay, man. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye. Hey, Dad. Working late shift tonight? Unfortunately. You hungry? Sure. I made beautiful pork chops. Dig in. So, how's everything in school? Fine. What do you ask? What? Can't a father ask how his son's doing? Chasing any skirts? Chasing skirts? You know, girls. Anyone tickle your fancy? I mean, sure, a lot of girls tickle my fancy, but problem is I don't think I tickle any of theirs. <laughs> well, don't sweat it. The ones whose fancy you do tickle, they'll let you know. Oh, I gotta go. Oh, no, Dad, I, I could take care of that. Thanks a lot, pal. Oh, and listen, take it easy on the dessert, OK? You don't want to end up like your old man.
Yo! <laughs> what up, you bad motherfucker? Yeah, what up, motherfucker? <laughs> hey, guys, what's up? No. It's not, hey, guys, what's up? It's... What up, motherfucker? What up, motherfucker? Oh, shit. Gotta go. Bye-bye now. Hey, where's your girlfriend going? Yo, asshole, get lost. I gotta talk to Slim here. No, I'm good, thanks. Get him the fuck out of here. Look, I think we got off on the wrong foot. I just want my money. What money? You know, the hundred bucks preventing me and my boy here from fucking you up? You know what? We'll catch up later. Let's go, Neil. All right, so does anybody use AT&T for their cell service? Wow, okay, and does anybody know what that means? Adrian. American Telephone and Telegraph, my dad works there. Very good. AT&T was actually founded in 1885 by Alexander Graham Bell. AT&T was broken up into smaller baby... Ah! Hey, what's going on over there? Keep your fucking hands off me! All right, guys, listen. We're going to continue this tomorrow. Please read Chapter 7 and remember quiz on Friday. Bobby. Yo, Bobby. There you are. Remember what you said, man? They're just douchebags. I'm fed up with these assholes. Why the fuck can't they just leave me alone? I deal with enough shit already. You want to know what always makes me happy? What? Food. I mean, look at me. Do I not look like one happy son of a bitch? <laughs> Come on. I'll go buy you some food. What? How happy can you possibly get? Jamie, I think that girl is checking you out. Fuck her. That's Adrian. Oh. She's in our economics class. Seems nice. A little dark and spooky, but nice. Christ, here comes Miles again. God, he's like a fucking Kardashian. He won't go away. Hey, Slim. Ladies. Yeah, I was wondering if I could get that hundred bucks you owe me. I don't owe you anything. <laughs> yeah, well, one way or another, you're gonna give it to me. <laughs> I'm not giving you anything. What the fuck did you just say? What the fuck are you looking at? Yo, man. Why don't you just leave the kid alone? Why don't you just mind your own fucking business? I just don't want anyone to get hurt. Listen! <gasps> You're the one who's gonna get hurt if you don't shut your fucking mouth. Me? Oh, no, not me, man. It's you, trailer park, that I'm worried about. <laughs> oh, where are my manners? How rude. Meet my cousin, little John. You know, like in Robin Hood. Only he was a big-ass white boy, and my cousin's a big-ass nigga. You know, for a loser, you sure got a lot of friends. <laughs> Do you want to be my bodyguard? You could in the floor with me. Little mozzarella looking motherfucker. <laughs>
Yo! Slim! I need the money you owe me. Hey man, where's your big gorilla friend now? Hey, you fat fuck, I'm talking to you. I said I need my money. I don't owe you anything. You must want to get fucked up, don't you? I want my money. I don't have your money. You don't have my money? Or you won't give me my money? Both. You hear that? Fat boy over here is trying to back out of our arrangement. Oh, don't kill him, Miles. <laughs> What the hell is going on out here? Why don't you mind your own fucking business, you old nigger? What the fuck did you say, you little punk ass motherfucker? You okay, kid? Yes, sir. What the hell was that all about? A hundred bucks. Let me take a look at that. Why don't you come inside and let me take a look at that cut? No, it's OK. I have to head home. Well, you bleeding pretty bad, and I have quite a bit of experience with this kind of thing. What's your name? Jimmy. Well, look, Jimmy, why don't you come on in and let me see if we can't get you patched up, OK? OK. See? Right here, son. It seems to me you could use a new set of friends. They're not my friends. Yeah. Yes. I guess you're right about that. Is that you? Yeah, that's me. The original Action Jackson. Clarence Jackson, that's my name. My friends will still call me Action. Even though I don't get much anymore. All righty. Here we go. Now. Here, I may pinch. Okay, Jimmy. That should hold you till you can get to a real doctor. Hello? Joe Batch. What's up? You coming over? I can't right now. Dude, why not? I'm bored of shit. I kind of ran into Miles. He, he kind of ran into me. Is everything okay? Are you home? I'm OK. I'm at a friend's house. Uh, what friend? You only have two. One is talking to you now, and the other is on his way here. I'll explain later. I, I got to go. OK, call me as soon as you get home, and we can make a plan to kill that motherfucker! Later. <laughs> well, thank you, Mr. Jackson. Call me Action. Thank you, Mr. Action. You know, Jimmy, you ought to think about learning how to defend yourself. Be ready for the unexpected. Look at me, I'd get my ass kicked. Well, you just did. Hey, you know, I started boxing when I was about your age. Really? Do you think you could teach me? Or... Me? <laughs> I really... No, really I, I... I understand. I, I shouldn't have asked. It's just that my boxing days are long gone. But if you're serious, I think I know somebody who might be able to help. Really? You know somebody that could teach me to fight? To defend yourself. I think so. You can check it out. I'd have to get your parents' permission. Why don't I give you a ride home? No, Mr. Jackson. Action. 
I'll be all right. Hey, it's no problem. I was headed out to get some groceries anyway. Jimmy, your dinner is in the... Oh, my God! What happened? Are you okay? Yeah, I'm, I'm okay, Mom. Well, what the hell happened? Well, uh, hello, Jimmy's mom. Uh, Jimmy got into a little altercation with some hooligans near my what house. What hooligans? Just some boys from school. It, it was outside Mr. Jackson's house on my way home. Uh, he came out and helped me. Kathy. Clarence. You know, Kathy, Jimmy here expressed some interest in maybe learning how to defend himself, and, uh, well, I thought maybe I could help. You patched my boy up? Yes, sir. I appreciate what you did, but uh, Jimmy will be fine. We can handle everything from here. Well, OK. Uh, it was nice to meet you, Jimmy. A real pleasure. You take care of yourself, OK? Thanks, Action. So, what'd you have in mind? All right, come on now, now. Two jabs to the right. Damn, come on now. My grandma hits harder than that, and she's dead. I always keep a hundred niggas around me. Making money in the trap, that's where they found me. Oh, always keep my feet up on the ground, me. Hit the ground until these motherfuckers crown me. I'm feeling like a chapel, 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 chapel. Oh, action, motherfucker, Jackson. <laughs> oh, it's good to see you. Good to see you, too, Manny. Uh, why you got to bring the Brady Bunch? Pay no attention to him. He's just been hit in the head too many times. I could use your help, Manny. Name it, brother. I was hoping you could teach Jimmy here to defend himself. Looks like he could use it. And I'll do anything for you, but you probably don't want to bring a kid like this here. You mean a white kid? No, no, no. I mean a pleasantly plump, I'm going to get my ass kicked white kid. Well, that may be true, but Jimmy here is not one to run away. I've witnessed it, so you just let me worry about that, OK? Deal? Yeah, OK, brother. <laughs> Come by tomorrow. We'll get started. Oh, good, good. Manny, this is Jimmy. Jimmy, this is Manny, the best damn trainer in the business. He's been doing it since Texas was a part of Mexico. <laughs> All right, Jimmy. Nice to meet you, sir. See, sir, see, I like that. <laughs> Ooh, it's going to be interesting. All I want is power and the riches and shit. I'm out in Cali with the Vatos hitting switches and shit. Remember why you're here? Yeah, to learn how to defend myself. And once you know how to fight, doesn't mean you go looking for trouble. Trouble will find you. That's the way life is. You ready? Yes, sir. Let's go do some learning. <laughs> Jackson and Mr. Jimmy. Are you ready, Jimmy? Yes, sir. Call me Manny, OK? I got some things I want to show you. OK, Manny. You're a big boy, Jimmy. And I know you think carrying that extra weight is a disadvantage. Yeah. Well, sometimes being well-rounded is a good thing. All we got to do is firm you up. You ever heard of George Foreman? The grill guy? What's America's youth coming to? Yeah, the grill guy. But before he was the grill guy, he was two-time world champion. 
knocking out Joe Frazier in 1973, and then 20 years and many pounds later to knock out Michael Moore for the heavyweight championship of the world. You know how he did it? How? Hamburgers. Yeah, that's how he got into the grill business. George had to cook all those hamburgers. He had a grill in every room in his house. Manny. Well, could have happened that way. Anyway, George was a big boy, and nobody messed with George. So sometimes size can be a good thing. All right, now, here, watch. Now, give me a push, OK? Pu push you? Yeah, push me. Um, no, no, come on. Hey, action pushes harder than that. Now, come on, give me a push. Whoa, OK, all right, all right. See, you've got power. Now, all we got to do is show you how to use that power, all right? Damian, try me to this. Gracias. All right, here we go. That's it. OK, now. Right hand, do this right here. OK, now hit the hand. Uh, OK, yeah, but hit it hard. Oh, that's it. Now, when you throw it, turn the back foot. OK, now try to twist it in. Oh, OK, now jab. That would do the jab. Just jab, yeah. That one, jab. OK, now you got to, like, kind of just take a little step forward when you jab. Boom, that's it. Another girl. Boom, that's it. Another one. Boom. Now hit it. You done good, Jimmy. Uh-huh. It gets easier, but it ain't ever gonna be easy. I still have one problem, though. What's that? Miles. He's gonna want his hundred dollars. Hmm. Let me see. Well, you could give him a hundred, but chances are, once he knows you're good for it, He'll keep coming back for more on a regular basis. You need to stall him. I know. Tell him you can't get the 100 right now. But if he waits a little bit, you'll give him 200 with his promise to leave you alone for good. 200? You got to stall him, Jimmy. For how long? Well... We need at least a month of hard work for starters. Stalling for a month, Oy vey. Mom! What, Jimmy? What's wrong? What's wrong? I can't move. What do you mean you can't move? I feel like a used pinata. Jimmy, what hurts? Everything. Hang on. Here, rub this on wherever it hurts. I don't think there's enough. I got to get ready for work. Get your butt up and get ready for school. Hey, Mom, any oh, chance? James. How you doing there, Jimmy? Fine. Pick you up at 3.30? OK. Can't wait. OK, Jimmy. See you then. Wait up. What up, bro? Not much, man. Just another day in paradise. Dude, you're smuggling something up your ass? No, seriously, man. You're walking like fucking Frankenstein. I was helping my dad move some furniture, you know? Really screwed up my back. Oh, dude. You got to take it easy. I ain't not spring chicken anymore. How old are you, like 16 now? Even like this, I can still kick your oh, ass. You got to catch me first, Cupcake. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Good day, Mr. James. What's shaking? What's up, Bobby? So what's up with you and Adrian? 
That freaky bitch is hot for your body. <laughs> I think she needs glasses. Why, well, James Mulligan, you just cracked a funny. You okay? Got a headache? Lightheaded? Dizzy? Need to sit down? I'm okay, but, but thanks for your concern. So seriously, what's going on with you two? Nothing. Nothing? Dude, this chick obviously likes you. And despite her satanic look, she's kind of cute. You need to ask her out. Man, I, just, I don't think so. Why not? Oh my God. You're gay and you want me. You wish. Aren't you supposed to have class? Class? I don't got no class at all. Get out of here. Okay, but he who hesitates is lost, James. Hey, fatty McCat. Still waiting on 100 bucks you owe me. Listen, Miles, I, I couldn't get your 100 bucks this what? week, but I just got a really good after school job. Oh, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and. If you just wait a couple of weeks, instead of the hundred bucks I owe you, I'll give you two hundred. Two hundred dollars, but you have to promise me you'll leave me alone so I can get your money. Two hundred bucks, and I'll just leave you alone? Yes, I promise I'll give it to you. You really gonna give it to me? Yes. Okay, sir. Don't fuck with me. Let's go. Breathman's asshole. Okay, Jimmy. I know you had a rough week. Right. Got the basics down. Now we're gonna work on your strong point. Power. Okay. We don't have time to teach you how to float like a butterfly, sting like a bee. You know who he's talking about, Jimmy? Muhammad Ali. That's right, son. Okay, now, left jab, right hand. Okay, now, come on, left jab, right hand. Okay, now, let's go. Okay, come on, Jimmy, harder. Okay, now, come on, now. Pivot on your back foot. You might only have one chance to throw this punch. Make it count, okay? Now, come on, right hand, hard. Okay, what's wrong, Jimmy? I'm tired. Of course you're tired. This is hard work. Now, come on. One time, harder. You know what? Give me three rounds on the heavy bag, OK? <sighs> Look, I don't know what's wrong with your boy. I don't think he wants to be here. And friend or no friend, I can't be wasting my time. I got too many kids in here, want to be here. And this gym is all they got. I hear you, Manny. Jimmy, you want to tell me what's going on? What do you mean? Come on, Jim. You were just going through the motions today. Remember, you asked me for this. I, I know, I shouldn't. It's just, I don't think that this is gonna work. I mean, look at me, I'm fat, I'm tired. And then after all this, I might just get my ass kicked again. Well, well, you might. And again, you might not. Isn't that worth working hard for? Go get some rest, Jimmy. Tomorrow's another day. Okay. What's up, slugger? Yeah, right. Late shift tonight? Yep. Party's over. Man, you look tired. 
Not easy work, huh? I just I don't feel like I'm getting any better. Well, it's going to take some time, Jimmy. I mean, what's it been, a week? Listen, if you really don't want to do this, I wouldn't waste Mr. Jackson or Maddie's time. Not many people are willing to offer their help and not expect anything in return. I got to go. You get some rest. Want this? You know, I wish somebody would have taught me how to defend myself when I was a kid. That way, it would be me teaching you. If you stick with this, you can teach your kids someday, and they won't have to go through what you're going through now. Just a thought. <laughs> hey, ladies. Checking up with my business partner. Still got a deal, right, son? Yeah, we got a deal. What deal is he talking about? <gasps> you better put a muzzle on your bitch. What the fuck? Call me! Hey, where the fuck do you think you're going? Oh, and if for some reason you don't make good on that money you owe me, he's next, and then you. Okay? Have a good day at school. Pussies. Are you okay? I couldn't find you earlier. Bobby, I'm sorry. I, I should have just... What? What can you have possibly done? What can any of us do? The teachers can't do anything. And nobody else gives a shit. I do. I give a shit. It's OK. I know what I need to do. Oh, my god. He's going to go postal. Good afternoon, Kathy. Jimmy ready? Hi, Clarence. He already left. He took his bicycle to the gym today. He took his bike to the gym? That's quite a hike. Yes, he seemed quite determined when he came home today. I'm not sure what happened, but he was in and out in minutes. Well, I better go try to catch up. Oh, and he told me to tell you that he tried calling your home, but that nobody answered. And if you had a cell phone, he could have saved you a trip. Well, maybe I need to update my life a little. Thanks, Kathy. Clarence? Yeah? Thank you again. You OK, Jimmy? I'm fine. I can put the bike in the back. Oh, no. It's OK. Thank you. OK. See you at the gym. OK. Hey, kid, you trying to keep that bike? Bring that shit inside, man. They still making those? What's that? Newspapers. You know what? I'll wrap you up today. All right, all right, okay. Way to go, Hector. All right. All right, Jimmy. Climb up here. Okay, now right here. 
Who? That's it. Jab. Jab. Okay, now right hand. Who? That's it. Now one more. Go on. Jab. 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 Right hand. Okay. Now. You gotta turn on that back foot, okay? All right. Jab. Action. Remember what? Whoa. Oh. What the hell did you have for breakfast? I'm sorry, man. I, I didn't mean to hit you. I just... <laughs> no. Yeah, you did. And you did a damn good job. Hey, hey, hey. All right, Action. Now we're gonna work, all right? Let's go. Jab. Jab. Right hand. Turn on that foot. Yeah. Jab. Jab. I guess I'll pay closer attention for a while. Here we see a piece of shit in its natural habitat. <laughs> you, Tinkerbell, get out. No, he stays. Excuse me? You still want your money, right? You still don't want to die, right? Look, my boss wouldn't pay me this week. I get my first paycheck next week, and after I cash it out, you get paid in full. Get me my money, Tubby. I'm starting to run out of patience, and quite frankly, you're starting to run out of time. See you later, Buttercup. What the fuck are you looking at? Okay, what, what, what the hell just happened? I'll explain over lunch. I don't have an after-school job. Wait, you don't have a... You don't have a job? Didn't you just tell Miles that you were gonna pay him his money next week? First off, it's not his money. Wait, if you haven't been working, what the hell have you been doing? Bobby and I barely see you anymore. Boxing. I'm sorry, did you say boxing? <sighs> Do you remember that old man that I was telling you and Bobby about? You know, the one that helped me when Miles Sucker punched me on my way home. Yeah. yeah. Well, he used to be a boxer. His friend owns a gym and they've been training me. Well, that explains your recent love affair with Turkey. I thought you were just dieting so you could hook up with Adrian. I'd love to hook up with Adrian. You have to ask me out on a date first, Jimmy. Hi. You know, if you want to ask me on a date, my friend Betty's having a party on Friday night. I'm going on a date? Oh. Um. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Well, don't you look nice? What's the special occasion? I got a date. What? A date? 
And whom are you going on this date with? And where, might I ask, are you going? And how are you getting there and back? And what time should we expect you home tonight? No later than 11. Her name is Adrian. We're going to a party at her friend's house. Her mom is driving us to and fro, and as we all already know, no later than 11. How long have you known this girl for? Really, Mom? Kathleen, leave the boy alone. Yeah, Kathleen, leave the boy alone. Hey. OK, OK. Is she a nice girl? No, Mom. She's a horrible girl. All right, don't push it. Do I look OK, Mom? Yes. He's very handsome. All right, well, try not to tickle too much fancy tonight, OK? Hi. Hey. Oh, um, Adrian, this is my mom and my dad. Hi, nice to meet you, Mr. and Mrs. Mulligan. Hi. Hello. Oh, uh, that's my mom. <laughs> Hi. OK, then um, I'll see you guys later. OK. Jimmy, you have your phone? Yes, mother. OK, have fun. OK. But not too much fun. Hi, Kathleen. And don't drink or do drugs. Kathleen. He's going to knock her up. He's not going to knock her up. It's a date. Thank you, Mrs. Adrian's mom. <laughs> You're welcome. Be careful. I just realized I don't know your last name. Bobo. Really? Joking. No. No. Yes, I'm joking. It's Colin. <laughs> <laughs> right now, it's long after midnight on the board. Hi, how are you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Betty, this is my friend Jimmy. Oh, hello, friend Jimmy. Hey, cool tats. Oh, my dad runs a tattoo shop. Well, they're very nice. Thank you. You want a beer? Sure. Sure. Yo, yo, buddy, you gotta look at this. You want a real? No, no, thanks. No, I'm good. Cool, cool. You're so adorable, fishies. Fishies! Who was that? A guy who really enjoys fishes. Uh -huh. Oh, cheers. 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 <laughs> oh, there it is. All right, I got to go and make sure that nobody's having sex in my dad's bed again. Oh, don't you worry. You two can use my room for that later. What? Uh Do you want to, like, get some fresh air? Yeah. I love so I can't believe he left me. That plastic bitch. So your parents seem very nice. Yeah, yeah, they're they're great. Your mom seems nice too. She is. Anybody who can put up with me, I'm keeping. <laughs> 
guess they say you've been eating better and you lost a few pounds. What's your secret? I could stand to lose a few pounds myself. No, I, I think you look great. Perfect, even. Did I mention you look perfect? Well, look who it is. Fat boy and his misfit girlfriend. Both men, you're drunk. Why don't you just head home? Why don't you make me? You're not going to ruin this night for me. Hit the fuck home right now. Come on, Jimmy. This idiot isn't worth it. No. He's leaving. We'll see you at school on Monday, Romeo. So, another beer? Does it come with another kiss? <laughs> Thank you, Mrs. Collins. You're welcome, Jimmy. I had a really nice night, minus the asshole. <laughs> yeah, me too. Talk to you tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. Oh, do you still want to know my secret? Sure. OK, um, can you be here tomorrow morning, like 10 a.m.? Yeah, I'll have my mom drive me. Great, I'll, I'll see you then. See ya. Oh, here it comes. You say that, okay? Sit down, it. Hey, guys. Hey, buddy. Did you have a nice time? Yes, mother. You seem like a real nice girl, Jimmy. Thanks, Mom. You had a good time? Yeah. And it looks like you did as well. <sighs> Good night, guys. Good night, pal. Oh, oh boy. You. Hello. Action? Yeah, hello, Jimmy. Hey, so how's that new phone working out? Oh, fantastic, Jimmy, fantastic. Can't thank you enough for talking me into it. <laughs> we might have to talk about that ringer, though. <laughs> I knew you would love it. Listen, could you pick me up this morning? Oh, what happened, Jimmy? Bike breakdown? No. I just want to bring your friend. Well, sure, sure. You still have to train hard, though. No slacking off, no showboating. I know. She's only going to stay for a little while. And then her mom is picking her up. She? Did I hear you say she? Thanks, Action. See you at 10. Ah, uh, to be young again. Do those hurt much? Oh, you mean my piercings? Yeah, all those holes in your face. <laughs> that must hurt a good deal. That doesn't hurt as much as you would think, Mr. Jackson, but do you want one? Because my friend's father could give you a great deal. Oh, no. I have enough metal in my shoulders and knees as it is. But thank you. That was a very kind offer. Of course. <laughs> Lost your way working at a boxing gym? Wait, you're a boxer? Oh, not really. Well, right now we're just learning, working on some self-defense. <laughs> However, 
Jimmy is well on his way to being a very good boxer. Shall we? Yeah. What's up, Jimmy? <laughs> Jimbo. What a Molly crew that is. <laughs> Hector! Yo! Take over for me. Manny, I'd like to introduce Adrian, Jimmy's friend. Adrian, how Hi. are you? Nice to meet you. <laughs> I'm good. Come on, guy. No lollygagging. Go get ready. Wear your wraps. What brings you to our humble establishment? I don't know. Something seemed different about him. And I noticed that he lost a few pounds, and the other night we were out, and he told me that he was going to tell me how he did it, but I thought we were going to go to a Weight Watchers or something. <laughs> Well, you definitely lose weight here. Adrian, did you ever think about learning how to defend yourself? No, no, not really. But it would be nice to learn how. I get my fair share of rude comments, if you can imagine. But do boxing and girls even mix? Uh, Hector, where's Rosie? Yo, Rosie. Rosie. Man, he's calling me. Once you guys fart, just a couple rounds, okay? No, man, I don't, I don't want to fight Rosie. What are you scared? Just got his ass kicked by Rosie again. <laughs> See, boxing and girls do mix. <laughs> Man, I was just taking it easy on him. I know. That's what every guy she fights says. Whatever, man. <laughs> You're not gonna knock me down again in front of your girlfriend, are you? <laughs> okay. Let's show the young lady what you got. Left jab. Left jab. Left jab, right hand. Left jab. Right hand. Boom. Right hand. Boom. Oh, jab. 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 Right hand. Sit down. Let me make you some breakfast. Uh, no thanks, Mom. I gotta head to the gym. But it's Sunday. Shouldn't you rest a bit? Oh, I don't know, Mom. I just feel really good today. What's that? Protein bar. What? I gotta go. I love you guys. I love you. I'll, I'll talk to you later. Oh, be careful. Protein bar, huh? <laughs> Maybe I should start eating protein bars. Give me a little more energy. You, Terrence Mulligan, don't need any more energy. Eat your pancakes. He's doing good, though, isn't he? Yeah, he is. <laughs> wow! Looky, looky who's here on 
their day off and with some spring in their step. <laughs> Couldn't be because of that young lady we met yesterday, huh? <laughs> All right, Smiley, I'm glad you popped in. I got somebody I want you to work out with. So go wrap up. How you doing? Good. So I push a little harder when I can't breathe. Yeah, I took a step forward when I can't see. And believe me, when all of the pressure is on me, I got two choices to die and succeed. Cause it's combination now. That's the best. Very good. Hey! <laughs> What's up, champ? Uh, no, <laughs> you're gonna spoil with Marvin. <laughs> hey, Marvin! Oh. Come on over here and meet Jimmy. How you doing, Jimmy? <laughs> Better now. You sure you don't wanna mix it up a little with Marvin? Hey, come on up here. Nah, I'm just joking. Go him up. Hey, coach. So the white boy knocks you up? Hey, I slipped, okay? 26 fights, I've never been knocked out. Now, now get in there and work out for it and knock you out. Yeah, then I began to rest it, being a bold old man. <laughs> I'll show you, man. Woo, woo. <laughs> <laughs> I still got it. <laughs> Action, motherfucker, Jackson. See you tomorrow, man. <laughs> All right. Manana, Hector. Hey, Manny, I got your text. Did I miss anything? Look at you. All dressed up in your Sunday go to church clothes, throwing the text word around like you were born in the Silicon Valley. <laughs> Did you say hello to God for me? Oh, yeah. And I prayed for your ass. Oh, my God. What'd he say? Well, he said to say hello back and to tell you he's very pissed about you ignoring him. And, uh, oh, yeah, he said, uh, that he had a copy of your internet browser. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> hey, hey, wait. You should have seen the look on Jimmy's face when he thought he was going to have to spar with Marvin. <laughs> Did you have to get him a diaper? Oh, two. <laughs> I remember the time you fought that big Colombian. You needed <laughs> I needed two. <laughs> you needed an assistant. <laughs> hey, Manny, what did you think of, uh, Jimmy's little lady friend. She's a nice girl, but uh, I'd hate to be behind her in an airport going <laughs> through the metal detector. <laughs> I have to agree with you on that. So, I'm ready when okay. you are. What about young protege? Oh, I see him. I'll go get him. Nice combo. Hey, action. Wow, I'm pretty snazzy today. Oh, I clean up pretty well on occasion. Hey, come on over, Jimmy. There's somebody Manny wants you to meet. You're ready to defend your title, huh? Uh, next week, you gonna be there? <laughs> oh, come on, I wouldn't miss it. <laughs> Jimmy, this is the killer. Kind of like tequila. Only this guy will really fuck you up. How you doing? Good, man. Now, tequila is a mixed martial artist. He's going to show you some basic moves while he's working out. So, you ready to go? Yeah, man. Mixed martial arts is a little different than boxing. Think of it a little like a street fight, where you also have to use your elbows, your knees, and your legs. So, I'm going to show you a couple of things to help you in a real fight, and uh, we're going to have some fun, OK? Let's do it. So, you got a cup on? I love
love that you love this show. It's so good. Nobody watches this show. Like, they took him to Lake Loudon. Oh, happy fucking Monday. Yo, Slim. My buddy Eddie was telling me you were disrespecting him the other night. Or he knows you and I are business partners, so he'll spare you. Well, business partner, I want my fucking money today. So rob a bank, or from your loser fucking friends, I don't give a fuck. But I'm gonna wait in right here after school, so you better have my 200 bucks. What the fuck are you looking at? Now what? That's how I'll give him what I owe him. What the hell was that about? It's just, it's a long story. I'll tell you about it at lunch. Where were you? As far away as fucking possible. <sighs> He's a dead man. How you doing? Good. Jimmy, right? Yeah. I'm Vinny. <sighs> so, I hear you may have some issues to resolve with that Miles kid after school. Yeah. He wants me to pay him some money he says I owe him. Well, do you? No. I also hear you've been training over at Manny's. You've been looking pretty good lately. How do you know that? It's my business to know what goes on in this school. Kick his fucking ass. third angle of any triangle when we know the angle of the other two. This works universally. So if you follow along with me on the next page, take a look at the example on the top right. You'll see that we are presented with a triangle and two of its angles. And the angles presented in both examples the sum of the angles are the same for each example. And so the result of the third angle is the same. The answer you should find. Hey, Billy, how you doing? It's Eddie. Listen, Miles needs a favor. Yeah, we need you to teach some fat fuck a lesson. Yeah, at our high school. It goes down at 3 o'clock by the entrance. Miles said it'll be worth your while. What was all of that about with Miles earlier? Miles is just a dick. No, I want to know now. Is this about you training at Manny's? <sighs> Look, basically, Miles tried conning me into giving him 200 bucks. But if he knew I was good for it, he'd just keep coming back for more. Action took me to Manny's to learn self-defense. I didn't go there to lose weight. I'm just tired of being pushed around. The only person I told this to was Andy, but somehow Vinny knows. Wait, Vinny knows? That means that word is getting around. Don't you think if Vinny knows that Miles knows? <sighs> Don't worry about it. I'll be fine. Look, I'll see you later.
Hi, can I speak to Manny, please? Uh, is he? Hi, Manny. It's um, it's Adrian, Jimmy's friend, uh, girlfriend. Um. Anyway, I I don't mean to bother you, but I, I just I don't know what to do. Can't bother me. Is everything all right? So. Jimmy's meeting that kid Miles after school today to give him his money, but Jimmy doesn't have any money, and I know what that means, but I don't know if Miles knows that Jimmy's been taking boxing lessons with you, but I don't know if Jimmy knows that Miles knows. Do you understand? Yeah, of course I understand, but really there's nothing we can do about it. We can't be there to hold Jimmy's hand every scrap he gets in. And besides, Action seems to think that Jimmy can hold his own with his Miles kid. I know, but I don't trust Miles. He's a snake in the grass. I just, I think he's up to something. Does Jimmy have friends? Well, yeah, but... Well, that's what friends are for. To watch your back. Okay. I, I, I'm sure he'll be fine, dear. I hope so. Hello? Hey, it's Vinny. I got a thing over at my school. Can you be here around 3 o'clock? Sure. Send Frankie and Paulie. 3 o'clock? You got it. Yeah. Wow. Word spreads fast. Hey, you got this. Hey, champ. You got my money? No. Of course not. Because you lied to me. You thought you could, uh, you could show up and then surprise me with your fancy new boxing skills. Well, I got surprised too. You see, the money you owe me, well, I pass that debt along to a friend of mine. He's been practicing, too, in Jersey State. Come on, tough guy. Time to say bye-bye. Now, you got to pay the money back to him, or... Well, I'm pretty sure you can figure out what happens if you don't. Your friend? He ain't coming. Hey, champ. Let's see what you got. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Get up. Come on, fat boy, get up. You guys crazy? Do you know how much trouble you can get in? Get off! Stay down! Stand your ground. Let the fight come to you. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Where am I going? Where am I going? How's he doing? He's doing pretty good. kid just knocked out that asshole kid. It's not nice to say fairy. You gotta say gay. Well, whatever he is, he's doing a pretty good job. He's got a hell of a left fucking hook here, huh? Shut the fuck up. Let's go, boy. Get him, Jimmy. Fuck him up. Whoa. You're gonna leave everyone alone. Not just me, not just my friends, but everyone. Do you understand me? You're fucking dead. You're fucking dead! That's for calling action the N-word. Hey, Miles. What? Adrian, I 
did it. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the gorilla from Vanilla! <laughs> you did it! You did it! Oh, boy! <laughs> But seriously, what was that voice earlier? No, seriously, did you hear that voice? That voice, did you hear it? Hey, did you hear it? Woo <laughs> Oh, I taught him good. You sure did, man. Ooh, except for that uh, tequila shot to the Jose Huevos. <laughs> oh, I see what you did there. And I don't know if you noticed, we have gone viral, my man. Oh, man! I remember when you thought going viral meant a trip to the free clinic. <laughs> Yo, Manny! Your boy Jimmy's on TV! Damn, let's go see you. Next up, a cell phone video uploaded only earlier today that has already gone viral across multiple social media platforms. In the video, filmed at a local New Jersey high school, we see one bully who pushed his hey, look a bit whoa. too far. And Isn't turn, that the fight at the high back. school we were just at? Where? What started out Where? On the TV over here. Hey, he's got some punch, that kid. Yeah, he's got some punch. What are you doing, not eating pizza? I can't eat, I gotta eat. But you eating all afternoon, not eating pizza. This is dinner, that was lunch. Doesn't your wife cook for you? Yeah, she cooks, don't worry about it. I gave her a break tonight. You gave her a break gave tonight? Her a break, yeah. Why don't you give me a fucking you... break? <laughs> I'll give you a break. Yeah, well, anyway, and, you know, hey, tell him. Fucking no cobs. How many fucking cobs are in this slice of fucking pizza? Hey, pizza's natural. That's natural tomatoes. Natural. natural. Yeah, it's natural. My fucking hair is natural. Yeah, it's natural. Right, 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 right. I got news for you. I lost my appetite looking at your hair. See that guy over there? He's with the FBI. Here, He's the a antagonist of the video can yeah. be seen yeah. starting this a fight. Yeah, right over here. Are you a fucking fed? Unlikely you hero. Know, yeah. You got another fed? Come on. You, what you While doing? off to a slow start with what seemed to have all the foreshadowing of an ugly scene about to take place, these two students began to exchange blows on nearly equal footing. Other students who were in attendance were beckoned to jump in Terrence! and reclaim the attention of Team Bully. But this you might want to see this. Our hero's allies What's wrong? Jumped in and helped level the playing field. It wasn't long before our unlikely hero ended the altercation with swift, albeit unorthodox, justice. Oh, all's fair. <laughs> I really don't like you fighting, Please but I'm glad you did well. And I hope that boy learned a lesson. <laughs> yeah, always, always protect the family jewels. Together in a difficult situation. That's gotta hurt. The obvious lesson today is it's easy to push someone around until they push back. In other news, local authorities have stated to be on the lookout for this man who was recently released from Jersey State Prison. The man identified as William Barrett, aka Glassjaw Billy, was first reported missing when he failed to report.
There goes the neighborhood. <laughs>